Red Edition, welcome. Happy day. Lighten up. Here, we start your day with this one. There was a man in Canada who walked into a bar and he announces to everybody in the room, he says, hey, I got a gun. I got a loaded handgun. I got nine shots here ready to go. Who's sleeping with my wife? I want to know. And there was dead silence. And all of a sudden, at the back of the room, there was a whisper and says, hey, you need more ammo? Just <laughs> saying, are you in a happy mood now? Here we go. Let me tell you about liberals. Liberals, they drive me crazy. Let's all be equal as long as I have more. That would be the Canadian definition of liberalism. I met a liberal who was expressing his honesty and integrity. And in his speech, he said this, I've never cussed. I don't swear ever. I get my point across easily because I'm honest. So why the hell would I cuss? That would be a liberal, don't you think? A lying liberal defined. I spoke to a liberal recently and I asked if he uh, consumed alcohol and he said never I've never had a drink I have a glass of wine now and again but I don't drink at all that's liberalism or stupidism kind of pick your verbiage hey the liberal government of Canada recently said that we're going to apologize to gay people for the way they've been treated over uh, the course of the last 50 years and uh, you know governments are always doing this I mean the previous government the conservative government they said sorry to all of the Japanese people and they said hey back in World War II we didn't treat you very nice and the Indians you know back 150 years ago we didn't treat you very nice and we're Sorry, and <laughs> sorry, recently I was in the US, I'm jumping now, and an American said to me, all you Canadians say, sorry. You're supposed to talk like we do. And I said, how is that? And they said, uh, sorry. Kind of like scary, sorry. Hey, back to this. And you gotta be judged by the backdrop of your time. I believe that. I mean, you can't go and say you're sorry for something that somebody else did 40 years ago, 50 years ago. I mean, are you kidding me? I mean, here's a guy, his name is Martin Roy. He was charged in a bathhouse raid outside of Toronto or close to Toronto back in 1981. 1981. And now the government has apologized to him and he says this, I just want them, the government and the people of Canada to recognize that they were wrong and to apologize. Who's them? And, and who's to say that they were wrong? We weren't wrong, because back then the laws were such that you were wrong. I mean, you got to be judged by the backdrop of your time. Who are these guys to reinvent everything? I mean, a bunch of liberals recently took the cigar out of Winston Churchill's mouth in a statue. Are you kidding me again? I mean, he smoked a cigar. That's the reality. Who are you to come along now and say, ah, you got to live my way. I don't want to live your way. I want to live my way. Leave me alone. And keeping with gay talk and different things, the premier of Ontario is lesbian. She's homosexual. And now at Queen's Park, Queen's Park, all you people don't live in Ontario. That's the place with the part of the buildings. That's where the government sits, right? There's a gay flag, a gay flag flying there. <laughs> I got a headache. I mean, what about a gun flag? What about a flag, a marijuana flag? More people smoke marijuana in Ontario than are gay. Why not fly that? Or better yet, why not just fly the Ontario flag? Why don't you be a government person? What is this nonsense? I, ah, there's a lot of nonsense going on in the world. Don't you know you all come back here tomorrow? I gotta share more nonsense with you because every time I think I'm done, those liberals, they give me a lot of material to work with. Hey, because stupidism is alive and well. Let's try to deal with it tomorrow. See ya.